time for Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Lady Rams basketball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com is powered by the official voice of Lady Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball is also presented in part by Buffalo Wild Wings, Red Lake College, Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. One Stop Touring America. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. First Mid Illinois Bank. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. And also by Minor League of Salem. Banterra Bank. Banking with local style. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Schmidt Ford of Salem. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. And People's National Bank. We take you to the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth for the Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball starts now. Rivalry game tonight in the South Seven Conference and girls basketball. It's the Mount Vernon Lady Rams and the Centralia Annies, and it's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. Chris Hugo, Danny Zawinski alongside. We are your WMIX sports team tonight here from Mount Vernon Township High School. This is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. We welcome you inside the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. Jeff Crow here with us providing the video angles at WMIXsports.com. Audrey Southerd is back at our Mount Vernon studio taking care of things on 94.1 FM. Well, tonight the Lady Rams are 3-3, three and three, looking to get back above 500, but most importantly looking to stay undefeated in South 7th Conference play. They won eight days ago at Cahokia. Close win there, 1-0 and is their South 7th record. They have a Centralia team that comes in struggling somewhat. They are 2-5 and five overall. They had a win in the Salem tournament in the 8th place game. 7th place game, rather. They had a win in South 7th play against Marion early but since then have lost to Carbondale. We'll talk about all of that coming up here on this Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. We'll take a quick break, come back, talk more about this one. South Seven Conference showdown here in the King City tonight. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Steve Down, Vice President of Agriculture Lending with Community First Bank. Operating your farm operation is extremely challenging in today's farm economy. Your operation needs a solid partner that understands the issues you face while providing solutions that make sense for you. At Community First Bank, we're dedicated to meeting the needs of local farmers just like you. Give me a call today at 618-244-3000 to see how we can help with your farming operation. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. It happens every busy summer. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over three and a half decades. Honest, fair deals. Nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties, free approval over the phone, and bank rate financing for all. Stop by and talk to Jimmy and the fine folks to see how they can literally save you up to thousands on the total price of your vehicle. Absolutely no gimmicks, just honest deals and low prices. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Have you ever wondered how your homeowner's insurance works? Or whether you have enough coverage to protect you in an auto accident? Or what would happen to your family if you get sick or pass away prematurely? I'm your local State Farm agent, Tony Will, and these are the very questions that we help people with every day. If you don't have the answers to these questions, stop by my office in Mount Vernon. Waiting till a catastrophe happens to learn how your insurance works can be very costly. Don't let that be you. Find us on the web at TonyWill.com or call us at 242-1421. Back to the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. Back inside the new gymnasium on the new campus of Alfred and Township High School in the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. Lady Rams Athletics on WMIX are powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Tonight, the Lady Rams host the Centralia Annies. Two and five are Roger Steeg's Annies. They're one and one in South Seven play. Wins, a win against Marion, a loss against Carbondale just last week. And so for Roger Steeg's team, they came in struggling. Did not win a game in pool play at Salem. Instead, able to get a win in the seventh place game against a struggling Carlisle Lady Indian team, but got a nice win over a much improved Marion team uh, Thanksgiving week. However, the Annies, again, struggling somewhat coming in, but you can throw the records out the window, pardon the cliche, when these two teams get together. 
This is an Annie's team that's struggling a little bit. Uh, a lot of talent has gone through the last couple of years. They've played Mount Vernon very tough, both here and at Trout Arena. Of course, this is a new chapter, and then, of course, from the other side of town in Chagnon. So it'll be interesting to see if Centralia 2-5 and five, with only a win against 2A Carlisle and the Marion Wildcats in conference play at home. You're talking about losing to 3A, 3A, 4A, 3A, and 3A, which does not bode well for this matchup. But as we have learned over the years and this particular rivalry, you throw everything out the window tonight and everything's new. Everything is new. Here at the new gymnasium in the new Mountford and Township High School, we're in the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. We'll talk more about them. We'll talk more about all of our sponsors for the most part later tonight. But first, we need to take another break on this Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one 1 -888 Landers. We'll take a break. Come back. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Tee it up and drive to Rinley College Golf Outlet. From beginners to scratch golfers, they have the latest technology from all the major manufacturers. Balls, gloves, clubs, accessories, they have it all and can even regrip and fit your current club. Take a few practice swings at the driving range or the indoor simulator. Don't forget golf lessons or a gift certificate. Perfect for the golfer on your list. RLC Golf Outlet in the Renly College Marketplace off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon or rlcgolfoutlet.com. People's National Bank has the best of both worlds. Big Bank products offered from your local family-owned community bank. Products like free checking, online banking, personal and business mobile banking, and mobile deposit. People's National Bank has the products and services to meet your personal and business financial needs in today's world. Stop by any People's National Bank branch and ask about any one of these great products. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, wireless and service fees may apply. This is Roy Landers, owner of Landers Toy and Collision Centers. Of course, we hope that you and your family never have to use our services. But in the unfortunate chance the situation does arise, Landers and our employees are here for you. This is Chase Landers with Landers Towing and Collision Centers. These past few years, our ability to tow and bring your vehicle back to its original condition have become exceptional. While our state-of-the-art equipment and high demand for quality are much to blame, the real success for Landers Towing and Collision stems from the determination and dedication of our employees. An exceptional, independent, hard-working team member is extremely hard to come by these days. I have been blessed in meeting and hiring these specific individuals to the Landers team. The success of Landers Toy and Collision Centers would not have been possible without the dedication and perseverance they have shown me and my organization. Through extensive training programs and continued learning by our team members, Landers will continue to bring you the best possible experience one can have during such a stressful time. Remember the employees of Landers Toy and Collision Centers the next time life throws you a curveball. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers, that's one eight 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 Landers. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. 94.1 FM, WMIXSports.com. Tonight, the Mountford and Lady Rams and the Centralia Annies coming to you live from the new Mountford and Township High School. First time in this rivalry. Glad to be with you. Chris Hugo, Danny Zerwinski alongside for your Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. It's Wing Tuesday from Buffalo Wild Wings. That's right. Deals on wings tonight. Wall-to-wall -wall TVs and, of course, plenty of beers on tap. At Buffalo Wild Wings on Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Lady Rams coming in, of course, a big win last week over Cahokia. Lost the game due to scheduling against Taylorville. That will be played on Saturday, February the 4th in Taylorville, but Lady Rams have had a bit of a time off. Eight days off. Last played last week on Monday night at Cahokia. Lady Rams got a big win on the road. 42 to 39, I believe, is the final score in that one. So it's a Lady Ram team that's been able to find a little bit of momentum. Had a decent showing at Nashville, taking home fourth place. Three and three now, however, is this Lady Ram team. But a Lady Ram team that's had some close games probably go the other way that could have gone their way. So... We've seen some improvements out of this Lady Rams team already in 2016-17. You win the night, you are, you know, 20% away from being able to run the table. And when you're in that situation for Mount Vernon, you're always trying to get some things going, get some things done. And I think for Mount Vernon, you would like to get to 2-0, cover this and get going down the road and come in with Marion on the Thursday night where you should be favored. You could be sitting at 3-0 and before you get Carbondale at home next week, you could really, really make some hay in these two weeks with these three home conference games and really get a good lead. Now, the other downside is you have to go on the road a lot in the second half, but you make your hay early, that could help out. 
They most certainly could. A Lady Ram team that feels that this conference could be up for grabs here in this season. You've had some wild contests already. You have had Cahokia beat Altsoff already this season. You've had Altsoff, I believe, beat Carbondale. So you've had some games go back and forth. The standings right now are kind of a heap, but the Lady Rams are undefeated in the conference thus far. Small sample size indeed, but they have a busy week in front of them. Today they have the Annies. We have that for you right here. We'll same location for the Lady Rams and the Marion Wildcats on Thursday. Chris Roberts' team will come to town. In fact, he's here taking this one in tonight. And then on the following Thursday, it'll be the Carbondale Terriers coming to town before... I believe that for the Lady Rams will be the final game before the holidays. They will head to a new place this year for Christmas. They'll head to the Benton Ranger at Christmas Classic uh, where they will see the likes of Carterville, Hamilton County, Meridian in their pool. On the other side of the coin in the other pool, you have Marion, Benton, Graves County, and another team uh, to be named. I cannot recall who it is off the top of my head, but uh, a very good tournament for the Lady Rams. Probably not the same competitive level maybe as a Mascuda. But a good team for the Lady Rams, or a good tournament for the Lady Rams to well, be in. Well, when you see Belleville West every year, it's hard to see a lot of competition. So you're getting out to a tournament and pool play that you're going to see different teams than what you play on a Wednesday, Thursday, and two on Friday. You're going to get to play in the East, historic East Gym on the Benton campus. You get to play in Rich Aaron Gym as well. So a nice opportunity for Jeff Lawton's team. You're guaranteed four games. So it's a lot better than getting a two and done treatment going to the left side of the bracket in a bracketed tournament. So. Uh, I, I kind of I, I like that for the fact that the fans can get there. It's close to travel, and Benton's a good place to have a basketball tournament. I think that's one of the better ones around for girls at Benton and Fairfield, uh, obviously besides the obvious other tournaments as well. But those two are pretty good tournaments right now for that uh, that range of teams along with Mascuda as well. Certainly. Lady Rams guaranteed four games in the tournament, as Danny suggested. So it'll be a good fit for them, and we'll see. Uh, just how they fare down there. I believe that is also the 28th, 29th, and 30th to coincide along with the Centralia Holiday Tournament for the Mount Vernon Rams. Busy week for us, of course. Again, we told you our Lady Rams broadcast schedule Friday night. We will head to Marion for the Mount Vernon Rams. We'll have video for that one as well. Then on Saturday, we have a pair for the WMIX Sports Basketball Showcase. And the first one, an absolute thrill. We'll get to do... Weber Township and Sesterville Waltonville will be at Waltonville High School. They try to do that on an annual basis, and what better, better game to have than a cross-county rivalry with Weber coming to town. Of course, a former SV Devil, Rick Hayes, leading them. and He's under the weather tonight, so we certainly hope uh, Rick Hayes gets to feeling better soon. But then we have a, a great one coming up at that night, too, on Saturday on the showcase with Woodlawn battling Christopher in a sectional rematch. Two very good games on Saturday of entrance levels. For different reasons, you have coach versus player in the first game in the afternoon. Uh, Cesar Valera Waltonville team that's just tearing everybody up along the way. Weber struggling out of the gates at two and six, and then on Saturday night you get a rematch of a game for the sectional championship at Gallatin County eight months ago in March. The names are the same, the teams are there, but a lot of the players are not there right now. And two teams kind of, you know, Christopher went two and one at their own tournament. Haven't played in over a week, and you got Woodlawn who went one and three at the very tough Kaskaskian Classic. So two teams still trying to find their way early on. They most certainly are. This is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Bigger, small Landers fixes them all. Call one eight 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 Landers. That's one triple eight Landers. We'll have your starting lineups forthcoming in just a moment here on this Landers Collision Center's pregame show. We'll honor America from Mountford and Township High School. And when we come back, it'll be your starting lineups here tonight. The Mountford and Lady Rams and the Centralia Annies coming up in just a few moments. Right here, 94.1 FM and WMIXSports.com, where we have streaming video. Don't forget, stay up to date on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Give us a follow and a like wherever it may be required at WMIX Sports all over social media. Don't forget, you can find our broadcast schedule as well as archived broadcasts and more on this website, WMIXSports.com. We need to pause to honor America from Mountford and High School. When we come back, it'll be the starting lineups. This is Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. When it comes to banking, Banterra is the change you want to make. I'm Jeff Spieth, Market Executive for Banterra, and you should know that our top priority is personal service. It's why Banterra is the region's largest locally owned community bank. We offer convenient online and mobile banking, mobile check deposit, online mortgage services, and have 25 Southern Illinois branches to serve you. Banterra Bank, proud supporter of Southern Illinois, 
high school sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, Roy Smith with Ford Square Mount Vernon, inviting you to take a test drive in the all-new Lincoln Continental. You will enjoy a first-class experience in the 2017 edition of the iconic nameplate. With features like perfect position seats, inspired by seating in private jets, the seats can be adjusted 30 different ways and modified based on body shape. They include heating, cooling, and massaging features for front and rear passengers. The 2017 Lincoln Continental welcomes you as you approach with a soft let welcome mat. And with a touch of the button, you can open your door. With a suit of advanced safety features, including 360-degree camera and free collision assist, Lincoln Continental is always looking out for you. Drive the most advanced Continental ever made at Fort Square, Mount Vernon, 51 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and call us at 618 618- 242-8600. If you're like us at Buffalo Wild Wings, you like football on tons of TVs and a plethora of wing sauce choices, and you like beers, lots of beers. And if you're really, really like us, you started a sports bar in 1982 and have a yellow logo with a buffalo inside. And if that's the case, you can expect to hear from our lawyers. A sports bar like you'd have created, we do it for you. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, and sports. Watch the Lady Rams online at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Red Lake College. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. With Danny Sarwinski, I am Chris Hugo here on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Starting lineups tonight and every night are sponsored by Ford Square and King City Chrysler Center. We appreciate them for that. As the mound for the Lady Rams are battling the Centralia Annies tonight, we need to get to know the starting lineups. For Centralia, number 24, Raven Wood. Number 32, Brooke Nossett. Number 34, Caprice Mains. Number 44, Nikita Mains. And number 52, Latavia Mains. For Roger Strieg, Stiegs, Centralia Annies. King City Chrysler Center has express lane, fast oil changes, and more. It's service without an appointment. That's right. Drive right on up to express lane, fast oil changes, and more at 1603 Broadway at Mount Vernon. Lady Rams, the home team tonight. Well, same lineup we've been used to seeing so far this year. Lauren Heinzman, number two. Number 10, Kendall Ryan. Number 20, Bria Meyer. 34, Taylor Thompson. And there's a change in the lineup as I look down, and it looks to me like Taylor Thompson's out, and Savannah Childers is in the starting lineup. That changed late. And in number 35, Madeline Keel for Jeff Lonnon's Mount Vernon Lady Rams. And there you have it. Lady Rams are home whites tonight. Orange numerics trimmed in black. Orange or black striped down the sides. For the Annies, they're in their away reds with white trim, white numerics, and lettering. For Roger Stig. Jeff Lonnon, the head coach of the Lady Rams, 3-3. Three three. They're 1-0 in South 7 play. The Annies are 2-5. They are 1-1 one one in South 7 play. Again, Lady Rams' win is over Cahokia. The Annies have beaten Marion but lost to Carbondale. Lady Rams do have wins this season. Again, 3-3 three three overall. The aforementioned win against Cahokia. They do have wins over Benton and the West Glen as well. Close losses to Harrisburg and Oakville and a loss to Collinsville at the Nashville Tournament in the third place game. They're wrapping up the starting lineups over the public address system here at the New Mount Vernon Township High School. We'll get you scores throughout the night. Sponsored by Tony Wilt, your state farm agent of Mount Vernon. Find him online at TonyWilt.com. Get to a better state with State Farm. All the action all season long. Every sport powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And if your bank has changed names again, remember it's not you, it's them. Community First Bank can make the switch easy for you. You'll love one checking. That's free checking, high yield interest. Only at Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to personal banking. We'll get underway eventually. Union County, Kentucky beat El Dorado Night Girls play 63-57. And the JV game tonight was won by Mount Vernon 39-28. There we go. Tony Wilt scoreboard. We'll have a full scoreboard tonight on our website at WMIXSports.com. Conveniently also sponsored by Tony Wilt. Huddles are wrapping up. Basketball will commence here in just a moment as we get a little bit of a late start tonight, just shy of the 8 o'clock hour on a JV game that took the better part of a year and a half to finish. But we're about to get underway here with the varsity. 
Lady Rams back in action on Thursday. They will welcome the Marion Lady Wildcats concurrently to the JV game at about 6 o'clock. There will be special Olympics basketball in the auxiliary gym. It will be a great night of hoops here at Malford in High School. Tip control in the backcourt. Nossett with it for the Annies. 7.54 to go in the first. We are just underway from NVTHS. Mains with it on the left side. I will have to be more specific. Nasset goes back to Caprice Mains on the right wing. Over to Lata Nikita. Now trying to feed Latavia inside. Will be stolen away. Nope. Annie's recover. Outlet to Nasset. She'll look inside. Mains on the jumper. It's no good. That was Nikita Mains. Rebound to Latavia. She'll outlet. Left wing three on the way. Nasset to put the Annie's on top. It's no good. Rebound fought for inside. And it'll go with the Lady Rams on a defensive rebound. Oof. Other way it goes, Kendall Ryan with the basketball trying to feed the post. It'll be a kick save by the Annies, no call, and into the front court comes Maines. This is Capice. Left-hand dribble, bounce pass to Nasset. Faked left, went right. Caprice Maines, three up top, is good. Well, good start for Centralia. Getting used to the new confines here at Mount Vernon. Thrown off a little bit. Obviously, the other side is not open here tonight. Just the one side of the bleachers pulled out, plus the two ends. Lady Rams throw it away on the left sideline. Caprice Mains into the front court. Dribbling around that timeline. Throws over to Nasset. She'll skip a pass over to the right. Coming outside the post. Dribbling in is Mains. No good. Nikita puts it back up. No good again. Second time wasn't the charm, and the Lady Rams get the rebound. When you have that side open like it is with the bleachers pushed back, you don't have that crowd over there to kind of fill it in, and, and it kind of makes you feel off center or off as a player when the whole gym's not used like that. Three on the way. Meyer, no good. Hits the top of the backboard. No call. Rebound to Latavia Mates. Annie's out rebounding the Lady Rams thus far. They lead it 3 to nothing with 6.17 to play in the first quarter here from the new Mount Vernon Township High School. All Mount the action presented by Community First Bank. Mount Vernon in a 3-2 zone. They'll drop the wings back opposite where the ball goes on a wing. Raven Wood with it. Now to the left wing for Nossett. Back to Wood near the left corner. Six minutes to play in the first. Nossett, little ball fake. Trying to throw into the paint. Gets it to Maine. Thrown out of bounds. Looks like it was last touched by the Lady Rams. So Raven Wood will inbound. Wide open three for Nossett. Six nothing Annie. Well, she was shooting by herself in that corner. Nobody came out to guard her, and it went down like she was in the gym working on practice shots. 5.43 to go opening quarter. 6-0 run to start things off here for the Annies. It's Savannah Childers with the basketball. Between the circles, bounce pass right wing for Meyer. Lady Rams over to start from the field. They've turned it over a couple of times. Hines been trying to drive against Wood, the defender. High off the glass. Keel fights for the rebound. It'll be Caprice Mains and the Annies into the front court. Dribbling left wing. Throws it up top. Latavia Mains now to Nossett on the right wing. 5-18 to go in the first. 6-0 is the Annie lead to start things off early here from the new place. Nossett back over to the right side on a swing. Gets it right back from Mains. Another three on the way. No. Rebound. This will be the other mains. That is Latavia to put it back up. It's 8 nothing. Annie's timeout, Jeff Lana. Mm, things are not looking pretty right now for the Lady Rams. Anything but. Well, the, the rebounding is awful on both sides. Mount Vernon one and done on one side, and then the other end, you have the, the Annie's dominating on the offensive glass. Timeout presented by First Mid-Illinois Bank and Trust at the corner of 34th and Broadway in Mount Vernon. Go see our friends Michelle, Rebecca, and Dwayne for all of your banking and financial service needs. First Mid proud to sponsor this timeout, the new Lady Rams Gymnasium. 8-0 Centralia here early, 5.02 to go in the first. And a pair of threes, one by Brooke Nossett, another by Caprice Maines, and then Latavia Maines with a post up on a putback, and it's 8-0 Centralia. Not the start the Lady Rams with conference championship hopes had envisioned, especially not in this rivalry contest. Five minutes to go in the first, length of the floor inbound, left to right. Left wing it is, now behind the back dribble by Heinzman, trying to dribble in against traffic, stopped by the defender, outlets outside. Now a throw to the short corner for Childers. Savannah with the basketball after a quick touch by Meyer. Now throwing back near the top for Heinzman. 439 to play in the first. 8 0. Lady Rams trailing to the basket goes Heinzman. She picks up, draws the foul rather, and now will shoot two from the line. Well, a little bit better offense there by Mount Vernon getting to the rim. That's Heinzman's game. Can do it all from everywhere. First free throw, no good. She'll have another. It is eight to nothing. The score on your screen is correct. Eight to nothing. Centralia on top. Four thirty-five to play. Opening quarter. Second free throw is no good. Lady Rams are flat. 
4.33 to play in the first with the basketball Nasset across the timeline. Leaving it for Wood now back to Caprice Mains. Throws over the right side for Nasset off the wing. Now into the corner for Wood. Back to the right wing. Nasset swings it up top. Mains. A little head fake as she drives left. Goes back right. Throws to Nasset. Now to Mains near the volleyball line. Skips a pass. Short corner Wood. Feeds inside Latavia Mains. You betcha. 10 0 Annies. Boy, they have come out on fire for a team two and five. They've had some time recently with uh, some off days to get some stuff done. And boy, oh boy, they are really coming out. Easy here in this one. Childers up top for the Lady Rams. They need to crack this goose egg. They trail 10 to nothing. Underneath, it's going to be Keel. It's out of bounds off the Lady Rams. Another turnover. Not good. So Lady Rams have three turnovers, two shots, and are being out-rebounded 6-2. It's not a good start here at home. Sometimes we all need a fresh start. Lady Rams could use one at the moment. At a fraction of the cost of a four-year university, Renly College can give a high-quality education. At just a fraction of the cost, log on to rlc.edu to find out how. As Centralia logs back onto the post looking for Mains. That's Latavia. She's fouled from behind. And that'll be the first team foul on Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon's a little slow of foot here early on. Going to take a little bit to get themselves back into this game. Knots it off the right wing. Bounce pass to Nikita Mains. And now back to the outside, Caprice Mains. Turnover yep. Centralia on the travel, and the Lady Rams will have a chance. Got to put it on the deck before you take off. She took a step before she did. 3.28 remains. First quarter action from Mountford and Township High School. 3.23 to go. With it in the front court, off of the right sideline is Childers looking in for the curl. Nope, throws outside. Keeps it outside, if you will. Heinzman off of the wing. Now throwing up top, Keel, right wing to Meyer. Looking in, nothing there. And a bounce pass, top Ryan, left wing, it'll go to Keel. 3.07 to go in the first, 10 nothing. Centray, another Lady Ram turnover. Tried to feed it inside, there was nothing there, and now Centray with the basketball trying to add to this 10 nothing lead. 2.53 to go, first quarter, Maines going to the right wing, this is Caprice looking inside. Nikita Maines dribbling back, the defender puts it up and in. Wow. It's all Main Street right now for Centralia. And now another timeout, Jeff Lawn and in. Saw this last night with Johnston City. They got behind big early, couldn't make a comeback, and you're digging yourself a hole here. A good Centralia team can, A, run off at hide, and B, run some clock as well. First Man Illinois Bank and Trust has been providing trust and financial services in Illinois for over 150 years. Michelle, Rebecca, and the entire First Mid staff are committed to handling all of your banking needs. Over there at the corner of 34th, and Broadway, Lady Rams need some help with their offensive needs. 2.40 to go in the first, trailing 12 to nothing to the Centralia Annies. Every Mains has scored tonight. Caprice, Nikita, Latavia. Nasset in there as well for this Annie offense, and Roger Steak's team is on a roll to start. Well, another final. Carbondale beat Tillman tonight at Massac County, 68-34 in girls' play. So now dribbling across the timeline is... Heinzman back to the top for Ryan. Lady Rams need some points. Right wing, Childers trying to change that. No good. Rebound. She'll get it herself. Stolen away by Nossett. Between the legs of Childers underneath the hoop. It'll belong with the Lady Rams as I believe Nossett was out of bounds. So Lady Rams will inbound right of their own bucket. 2.25 left to go in the first of a 12-0 ball game. Lady Rams trailing this one. Good backdoor play to Heinzman. And one. Count that as she goes to the line for the and one to try to chip away at what is still a double-digit deficit. Well, that's helpful. That'll help out a lot. The lid is off. Lady Rams maybe can get something going here. Free throw good. Three-point play. Lady Rams cut it to single digits, 12-3, to three, with 2.23 left to go here in the first quarter. Across the timeline, this is number 34, Caprice Mains. Over to Nasset on the right sideline. 2.15 to play in the first quarter. Lady Rams are down nine. Need a couple of stops. Over on the right side, it's... Mains, Nasa to three from the right wing is good. Ooh, she can stroke it. I don't know how many more times you can dare her back there. Two out of four from behind the arc. Catch, shoot, knock it down. She has six. The lead is 12. Or excuse me, the lead is, That's good it is 12 for the Well, end. you can see Centray right now. They got a little giddy up in her step, a little hop, maybe the few days off. Got them to a point where they you know, were able to get in the gym, get some extra legs. But Mount Vernon shouldn't have a problem either. Uh, it looks like the layoff has get pr prospered for Centralia. Now Lady Rams looking at a short corner for Keel. Can't handle the basketball. Turnover Mount Vernon. With a minute 45 left to go in the first. Down 12, 15 to 3. That's five Centralia turnovers for the Lady Rams already. 
Nas into the backcourt. Centre now across the timeline. Nas is over to the right. Now to the left for Caprice Mains into the corner for Wood. Centre yet to sub in this one. Off of the right arc. Nas back to the left wing. Caprice Mains. Now to Nas a pair of threes tonight. Minute 29 to go in the first. 15 to 3. Centralia, they feed Mains. Misses one. Now puts it back up. Misses that as well, but will go to the line to shoot two. So two shots at the line for the Annies to try to extend this 12-point lead. 1.22 to go in the first. All the action is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC as Latavia Maines misses the first. She'll have another. And makes one of two. Mm. The Annies mean business here tonight. They're trying to end this early. 117 to go in the first off the elbow. Meyer will lob it back outside. Hinesman a three on the way. Would be huge. She rolls yeah. around the iron and finally drops through it. She has all six for the Lady Rams. That was a high arching three pointer. That came close. So now Nas at a bounce pass stolen away by Hinesman. Lady Rams down 10. Minute to play in the first. Hinesman length at the floor. Nope. Throws back towards yeah. Childers. Too wild out of bounds. Good idea. Just couldn't get it executed through a little behind her. The angle wasn't there. I think Jeff Lonnen wanted Lauren to go in there and shoot that ball. But Lauren is already off to the start offensively, trying to get some other people involved. Can't fault the effort and the hustle by either player. Just wasn't connected. Nas it up top to the right wing for Caprice Mains. Off of the sideline for Nikita Mains. Two to three Mains is on the floor. They've not left. Caprice Mains three will clank off the front out of bounds. Over to the adjacent practice court where the bleachers would be. With 39.4 yeah, seconds left. Makes it feel different. Basketball runs off and there's nothing there. Kind of feels weird. 33 seconds left. Ryan with it up top. Left wing. It'll be Keel coming around. Now to Meyer. Keel over on the right corner with 26 seconds left. Childers. Little ball fake. Throws off left wing. Meyer sets for a three. Would be huge. It's no good and out of bounds. It's a tray of basketball. 16-6 Annie's if you've just tuned in. 18.3 seconds to go in the first quarter. WMIX-FM, Mount Vernon, Marion, and all of Southern Illinois. A free service from Weathers Broadcasting. Thing not going the way of the King City yet. Lady Rams are down 10. Centralia with the basketball. 12 seconds left in the first. 16-6 is the Annie lead. Caprice Mains with it on the right wing. Now to Nasset. Looking left. Throws right to Mains with three. Dribbles in. Stolen away in the paint. Lady Rams will try for three-quarter court. Gets the shot off. No good. And we head to the second quarter. After one, Centralia 16, Mount Vernon 6. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Ever feel like you're paying your bank to be there for you? Hi, I'm Debbie Ashby with Community First Bank, and we believe being chosen as your financial partner is a privilege. That's why we still offer free checking with free debit cards and free online banking and bill pay for your convenience. No hassles, no hoops to jump through, just your local hometown bank being there for you. Stop by one of our five Jefferson County locations today to see the Community First difference and let us welcome you back to personal banking. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dixon, Ina. Member FDIC. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon. The Silverado is really a hot seller for us. It's our number one seller right now, and, and you can get huge discounts, especially on the 16s that are remaining. You can get supplier for everybody, which is a fantastic savings. Plus, you can get up to $9,500 in savings on top of that. We're out to give high trading values because we need your used truck. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. WMIXFM, WMIXSports.com. Lady Rams trail 16 to 6 as we head to the second quarter here in the gym at Mount Vernon Township High School. Lady Rams are down double digits, but they start this second quarter with the basketball. Savannah Childers in the front court. Lady Rams moving left to right. Right wing, it is Meyer. Spots up for a three. Good. And Lady Rams cut it to seven. It's 16-9. Well, that'll help a little bit. Maybe some snipering from the outside. 7.43 to go in the half. Nasset with the basketball. Over to the right for Mains. The Mainses have most of the Annie's points tonight, all three of them. This is Nikita coming around, dribbles in into the defender. Post up won't go, but the rebound, however, does go to Kendall Ryan. Long pass to Hines from Hines, but to Meyer dribbles out, touched by Centralia, and it'll be Lady Ram basketball. 
Played a little too quickly that time, but had the right idea. Yeah. Maybe some lather being built up by the Lady Rams. Quick inbound to Keel. Her shot's blocked, but it's recovered by Meyer. Feed to the elbow for Keel. Hinesman thought about the three. From NBA range, now out, kicks it out to the right wing. Now to the elbow, Keel. Dangerous pass to Childer. Childer Blend throws it out to Ryan. She wants a triple. It's no good. Rebound to the back door. Fought for. Some contact there that wasn't incidental, but the rebound to Centralia. And he's into the front court. It'll drop below the seven-minute mark of this second quarter. 16 to nine, the Annie's up seven. If your bank has changed names again, remember it's not you, it's them. Community First Bank believes in faithful relationships. They are a stable bank you can trust. What a great play in the post. Maine's on the rebound off the Maine's miss. That time Latavia cleans it up after Nikita and the Annie's are back up nine, 18 to nine. Mm. Left wing, it is Meyer now off his screen to the right from Ryan to Keel. Skip pass left wing for Meyer, back into the corner for Ryan. Trying to feed in the post, they throw it away again, turnover. So try with the basketball. Not quite the way you want it to go if you're from the King City right now, down nine. Lady Rams will do something great offensively and then unable to hang on. Nikita Maines throws over to Caprice Maines, right corner, throws it away. Kick save, Lady Rams stays with the Centralia. No, when you have seven turnovers, you only have nine points. That doesn't help you very much in what you're wanting to accomplish here early on. Little lob play into Latavia Maines. Mid-post jumper is good. It's 20 to nine. The Annies are back up double digits. Six to play in the half. Second quarter action from the gym here at Mount Vernon Township High School. Is off of the right wing. It's Heinzman looking to Childers. Now left wing pass. Coming around, Bria Meyer with 5.50 to go. Three on the way, rainbow variety and no good for the Lady Rams. That was Heinzman, rebound to Centralia. The panic of shooting too many threes. Heinzman's going to get a foul. That was obvious to everybody here. The panic of shooting too many threes early. You're only down 11. There's still two and a half quarters of a ball game left. Plus, you've got to move and stay within your offense and move that basketball inside and work inside, not just go for threes in this early part of the game. Mains, that's Caprice over to the right sideline for Reese Nolhoff. Feeding the post, now off the right block, good move by Maines to the basket, that was Latavia, it was no good. Lady Rams the rebound, down 11, it's 20 to nine. 524 left to go in the second quarter, now it's is Heinzman dribbling to the right wing. Has a wide open Ryan, and now uh, illegal, illegal screen. Illegal screen, I think it was Maddie Keel over there setting that a screen. She had it set, but then she moved to use the hips. That would be two minutes of interference on the slick stuff for not staying still. Inbound will come side of the bounds. Lady Rams down not, down 11, 20 to 9 with 5-10 to go in the half. This is Nossett with the basketball off the left wing. Got away with the carry but feeds the post for Mains. Tipped away to Nolhoff. Back up top. Coming around off the dribble. It's Caprice Mains. Stolen away Lady Rams. They come up with a big turnover here. Now a little home run ball. Coming up the left side. Let's see what we get from Childers. In and out. Back in again. And Lady Rams cut it to 9. I think at this point, with just over half a period to go, the defense, the offense, and the option needs to be that Mount Vernon can cut this down to about four to six points time you go into halftime. With it up top, Maines throws out to Nolha. Feed this time into Maines. Off the glass, that was Nikita. She has four, and it's 22-11. Lady Rams just don't have an answer for the Maines trio. Nope, you got to pressure the ball in the perimeter. We don't have that post present defensively. Right wing, Meyer trying to feed into the post for Keel. A foul on Centralia will be their third. 22-11, Annie's on top. Right now, Buffalo Wild Wings try their next genius sauce creation, kicking honey garlic. Sweet with a little kick. This sauce is made for game time. Buffalo Wild Wings, while supplies last. Wings, beer, sports, and don't forget, UFC, your home is Buffalo Wild Wings. Next time you want to watch one of those pay-per-views. Quick three out of the inbound, no good Heinzman. Rebound tipped away at the back door off of Centralia. It'll be Lady Ram basketball. Good effort by the Annie. That was Reese Nolhoff, but couldn't come up with it. 4-11 to go in the second quarter. Quick inbound. Wide open is Childers now, throwing it to the right wing. Ryan into Keel off the elbow to Meyer back on the right wing. Now to the top. Savannah Childers trying to dribble in. Annie's not letting anybody through that perimeter. Now this time a little bit of a seam. Runner to the basket is no good for Heinzman. It will be rebounded by Wood. We'll have a jump ball. Possession arrow favors Centralia. The turnover bug. 
not helping here early on. Sloppy Mount Vernon start. 3.49 to go in the first half, 22-11. Lady Rams down, double digits. Nasset with between the circles, throws over to the right sideline for Taylor Hirsch. Hirsch pressured by Childers, able to bounce the pass to Wood. Wood back to Hirsch, near the free throw line extended. Nice little no-looker on the bounce to Wood, gives it to Nasset off a screen. Nasset will come around to the near sideline, set up shop, throws it in the corner for Nolhoff. Back to the top, stolen away. Lady Rams will tip. Throwing it up ahead to Ryan. Ryan trying to get in past the defenders. Can't. Now throws it back to the free throw line. Keel a shot that's no good. Rebound tipped away. A lot of one and dones tonight. Yeah, about Vernon's offense there, a lot of red down there in the bottom, and they're not parting at all. So you have a sea of red re shirted rebounders for Centralia. Rogers Teague wants a timeout. And Mount Vernon shot selection, something besides the turnover is also going to be discussed probably in the timeout and or halftime. First Mid-Illinois Bank and Trust is proud to be a part of Mount Vernon Rams Athletics. The entire First Mid staff congratulates the Rams on their new gymnasium and looks very much forward to being a part of the Rams' future. 22-11, Annie's on top. They call the timeout, and we've had a sloppy game on both sides, but it's been the post presence of the Annie's that has been the difference here tonight. Well, and the turnovers. I mean, Mount Vernon's made some silly errors turning over and everything else, and really what you got to do if you're Mount Vernon, you got to take care of better, better care of the basketball, and also you got to have better shot selection. That, those two things right now are really hurting the Lady Rams in this one so far. Scoreboard updates tonight, every night are presented by your state farm agent, Tony Wilt. Find him on the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower or online at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. Three to play in the first half, 22-11. Annie's with the basketball out of the timeout. Little throw over to the right side. Caprice Mains over to Latavia. Now a three by Caprice is no good. Rebound tipped out of the reach of the Lady Rams. Back out to Mains. Wood. Might have gotten away with the travel there. Throws to the left elbow for Maines. Now looking inside. This is Latavia. Another walk, but a jump ball instead. It'll go to the Lady Rams. Oh, wow. Could have been a walk. Could have been a foul. Nothing was called to either one, I thought. Oh, well. 2.39 to go here in the first half. 22-11 in the front court. Lady Rams. Fewer whistles in a varsity matchup tonight than there has been in the JV. I probably should have reversed that, but... Take what you can get. 2.26 to go in the first half, 22-11. Lady Rams down 11. Off of the right wing coming around is Ryan. Good move to the basket, trying to get a foul, and she might be going to the line to shoot two. She well, will. yeah, she's going to go to the line to shoot two, and I think Roger Stieg is complaining that the outside official overcalled the underside official and got the foul, and that's what Roger Stieg's complaining about is, and then that official who made the call will walk over and explain, hey, here's what I saw, and... Roger Stieg doesn't agree, never would, as the coach of the team to get the foul called on him. First free throw, no good by Ryan. She'll have another as Nasa checks back into the game. Getting a breather is Griggs, who had checked in for just a Nossett. moment. Nasset's a heady little player. Can play, stroke the basketball from outside that free throw's made. But, boy, she's, a, she's the one that can run this team. I can tell she's got a good basketball IQ. 22-12, Annie's up 10 after one of two at the free throw line for the Lady Rams. 2-10 to play in this first half, looking for the mid-post pass. There it was, and no kick to the outside. Travel on the Annie's as Caprice Mange was coming around. Lady Rams will have possession. Community First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of Rams and Lady Rams Athletics on your radio. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Malford and Dix, Woodlawn and Ina. Keel out of the right corner looking for Childers over and back on the Lady Rams. Nope, they save it, but right to Centralia. Knocks it into the front court with a minute 54. Shakes the defender, throws back to Maine. This is Caprice. Finds a seam, she'll nice. go to the basket off glass, but no good. There to put it back, you guessed it. Latavia Maines has 11 unofficially. Just a good screen set on the perimeter for the initial shot, and then it's again owning the offensive glass. Deep left wing, this will be Ryan. She'll lose it, but she's fouled from behind, and that'll be the fifth on the Annies. If you're Roger Stig, you have to be so very pleased with your first staff here. If you can get out with a double-digit lead on the road in this gymnasium, the new gym, you got to feel pretty good about how this game has gone. Quick inbound into the corner for Heinzman. 24-12. Annie's doubling up the Lady Rams with a minute 29 to play in the first half. And as the lead grows, Centray gets a little more giddier on defense. Looking up top, dangerous pass, but recovered by Heinzman. Trying to dribble past the defender to the basket. Yeah. This will be a foul on the floor. It'll be the sixth on the innings. Going to get a little reach-in action. 
before the Lady Rams player got to the rim to shoot. So minute 17 left in the half, 24-12. Right now it's a dominant performance by Centralia. Quick inbound. Kia will throw to the outside. It'll swing around to Meyer. Big three. They need it. No good. Rebound. Can't come up with it. Almost stolen away by Thompson. Mains will save it to Mains. To Mains. Over to Mains. This is Caprice dribbling into the front court. Up top of the key. Looks for Nikita. Trying to feed Latavia. Bounces off. In the post. Shielders into the front court. A little two on two. She'll dribble into the defender. Throws up a shot that's good. Doesn't get the foul, but no. most importantly got the field she, goal. She initiated the contact. So that's a good no call by the official to play on on that one. She started it. 10-point game, 24-14. Lady Rams trailing with 40 seconds left in the second. We'll have your second chance auto halftime show coming up at the end of this half as the Annies will almost throw it away, but they save it to the Lady Rams. Probably would have been out off of Mount Vernon on a tip. Long pass to Childers. One-on-one -on -one against Noss. It throws a shot up that's no good, and the rebound will go well, to Well, she's going in, and she's begging for contact, and you're not going to get a call when you go in begging for it. So that is a good no call. 15 seconds left. It's Nasset and the Annies with the basketball. Brooke across the timeline. Probably play for the final shot here. 24-14 score. Left wing, she'll dribble. Looking up top for Wood. Wood feeds the post. Stolen away. Lady Rams with three. Going to have to hurry. Now a two at the buzzer from half court. It is no good. Good defense by Centralia. And we've hit halftime. After two, the Centralia Annies 24. The Mountford and Lady Rams 14. This is Malford and Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. This is Roy Landers, owner of Landers Toy and Collision Centers. Of course, we hope that you and your family never have to use our services. But in the unfortunate chance the situation does arise, Landers and our employees are here for you. This is Chase Landers with Landers Towing and Collision Centers. These past few years, our ability to tow and bring your vehicle back to its original condition have become exceptional. While our state-of-the-art equipment and high demand for quality are much to blame, the real success for Landers Towing and Collision stems from the determination and dedication of our employees. An exceptional, independent, hardworking team member is extremely hard to come by these days. I have been blessed in meeting and hiring these specific individuals to the Landers team. The success of Landers Toy and Collision Centers would not have been possible without the dedication and perseverance they have shown me and my organization. Through extensive training programs and continued learning by our team members, Landers will continue to bring you the best possible experience one can have during such a stressful time. Remember the employees of Landers Toy and Collision Centers the next time life throws you a curveball. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. When Triple Eight Landers, that's one eight 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 Landers. When it comes to banking, Banterra is the change you want to make. I'm Jeff Spieth, market executive for Banterra, and you should know that our top priority is personal service. It's why Banterra is the region's largest locally owned community bank. We offer convenient online and mobile banking, mobile check deposit, online mortgage services, and have 25 Southern Illinois branches to serve you. Banterra Bank, proud supporter of Southern Illinois high school sports. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. It happens every busy summer. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over three and a half decades. Honest, fair deals. Nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties, free approval over the phone, and bank rate financing for all. Stop by and talk to Jimmy and the fine folks to see how they can literally save you up to thousands on the total price of your vehicle. Absolutely no gimmicks. Just honest deals and low prices. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. The Second Chance Auto Halftime Show starts now. Back here in Mount Vernon Township High School at the half, the Mount Vernon Lady Rams trail the Central Yannies. 24 to 14. This is your second chance auto halftime. Show another buy here, pay here dealer in the area. It can save you hundreds, even thousands on the total cost for your new pre-owned vehicle. Second chance auto can with bank rate financing and fair honest deals for all. Go see them on Route 142 East here in Mount Vernon. We have plenty to talk about, especially the scoring and stats. We'll talk about this deficit. We'll talk about plenty more at the half. Centralia 24. Lady Rams 14. We need to take a quick break. We'll come back. This is Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. This holiday season, don't stress over unique gift ideas. Just come to One Stop Flooring America. Transform your husband's van tank with a sports rug of his favorite team. Don't just come with perfume. Update your wife's bathroom with a new glass and stone backsplash. Give your kids the ultimate flavoring with a carpet designed just for them. Don't forget to stuff those stockings with a One Stop Flooring America gift card. 
One Stop Flooring America has designers on staff, free estimates, and offers a lifetime installation guarantee. One Stop Flooring America, 318 South 10th Street, Mount Vernon, 242 Half of all football teams lose every Sunday, which means 50% of fans lose too. But Buffalo Wild Wings offers them a chance of redemption. Just swivel that losing face 12 degrees, and there's more football with a fresh 50% chance of winning. Now it's your turn to laugh at someone else's losing face. Unless it's you again. Then just try another 12 degrees. Tons of football on tons of TVs. We do it for you. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. When it comes to orthopedics, you want personal care that gets you back in action. And now you have a center of excellence close to home. Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois offers access to leading-edge orthopedics with the latest in surgical and non-invasive care and physical therapy. Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Call 242-3778. You'll also find the same quality care in a new location at 1007 Martin Luther King Drive in Centralia. Call for an appointment at 545-0894 or visit us on the web at orthocenter-si.com. Your home for the Mount Vernon Lady Rams is WMIX Sports, powered by Community First Bank. WMIX FM, WMIX Sports.com. Mount Vernon Lady Rams trail the Central Yannis to the tune of 24 to 14. Here at the half on your second chance auto halftime show, I'm Chris Hugo, Danny Zawinski alongside Jeff Crow with us in the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. Audrey Southern is back at our Mount Vernon studio, and Danny, it's been a half. I mean, we can just leave it at that probably. 24-14, Centralia leads. Well, it's not been pretty. I mean, it's one of those deals where right now Centralia jumped out to the quick start in the first two, three minutes. Mount Vernon panicked a little bit, I felt. Shot selection was not very good. Rebounding and turnovers favored the Annies, and Mount Vernon down by 10 here at the half. They are, and I, I think when you look at turnovers, I think they started to even out there over the course of the second quarter, but for a while it was a turnover after turnover after turnover and three ball after three ball that might have been haunting Mount Vernon. Well, and that's one of the things is that the, the shots from the perimeter were not falling, and Mount Vernon kind of threw them up to kind of get back in the game when they are down 10 or 11, 12 early. Uh, they fought back to nine or eight points but couldn't get over that hump, and now still trail by 10 with five minutes or actually halftime here as we head into the third quarter that we do and we'll take a look at scoring and stats after a quick break here on your second chance auto halftime show this is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports the minor league in Salem is Southern Illinois' leader in screen printing and embroidery. Does your school, organization, or company need jerseys, jackets, t-shirts, polos, or sweatshirts? Do you have a deadline? Minor League offers fast, quality turnaround and they can deliver. Go to MinorLG.com to design your own shirts the leader in Southern Illinois screen printing and embroidery is the Minor League in Salem. Go to MinorLG.com, call 548-8040, or visit 115 West Main in Salem. Got an eye for style and looking for an exciting career? Get creative, get trendy, and get going with Studio RLC in Mount Vernon. Pick up the latest styles in cosmetology, barbering, nails, and aesthetics. Our trained instructors will teach you the basics and work up to advanced techniques. Whether you're coming in right out of high school or looking to train for a new career, this program will get you up and running. For more information, email studiorlc at rlc.edu or log on to rlc.edu. Red Lake College, your journey starts here. How do you spell high school basketball? It's R-A-M-S. Hi, this is Karen Pelker, loan officer from the First Bank of the Heartland. The Rams and Lady Rams are back. From the first games in the new gym to the South 7 to the postseason, we'll keep you covered every step of the way. Don't miss the action on WMX or watch online at WMIXSports.com. Mount Vernon Rams and Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports, powered by the First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Follow us on social media at WMIX Sports. This is Lady Rams Basketball. 94.1 FM, WMIXSports.com, with streaming video of this one from Mount Vernon Township High School. With Danny Zerwinski, I am Chris Hugo. 24-14, Centralia Annie's lead your Mount Vernon and Lady Rams. And D.C., the scoring and stats may be a little... Not what we're used to. Lady Rams, 3 of 6 from two-point range, 50%. Only 2 of 10 from the arc for 20. Lady Rams, 5 of 16 from the field in the first half, 31%. The Annies were 7 of 14 from two-point range, 50%. A lot of putbacks on offensive rebounds. The Annies were 3 of 7 on three-point line for 43%. The Annies go 10 of 21 from the field in the first half, 
for 48%. Free throw shooting, Mount Vernon two out of five for 40. The Annies hit one out of two. Rebounding went to the Annies 15 to eight. They enjoy a six to three advantage and nine to five advantage offense to defense. And the turnovers, Annies have 10, Mount Vernon has nine. The Annies were led in scoring in the first half like Latavia Mains with 11. Brooke Nossett had six, Nikita Mains four, and Caprice Mains had three. Lauren Heinzman led lay for the Rams with six points, all in the first quarter. Savannah Childers four, Bria Meyer three, and Kendall O'Brien one, which gives you a halftime score of Centralia 24, Mount Vernon 14. Second chance auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. What other buy here, pay here dealer in the area can save you hundreds, even thousands on the total cost of your pre-owned vehicle? Second Chance Auto can. They do it with bank rate financing, fair, honest deals, and a great assortment of pre-owned vehicles. Priced under $10,000 in one location. Here at halftime, 24-14. Centralia leads the Lady Rams and down but not out, Mount Vernon. And, and right now there's quite a few things they could probably do in that second half, but it just feels like to me they trying they don't have a post presence obviously and it's going to be tough to gain one against not just Latavia Mains, Nikita Mains. You see Caprice Mains maybe more of a, a perimeter player but just unable to find their way with anything on the interior and that's been the big difference tonight. That is the difference and Mount Vernon came out very very flat footed in that first half and Centre jumped them early and in being in this facility Everybody's coming in. They're not intimidated by the Shagnon stuff going on. But, boy, you have to credit the Annies. You know, not off to the greatest starts at 2-5. and five. They come in here knowing it's a rivalry game. They jump on Mount Vernon offensively early and really throw a wrench into what Mount Vernon wanted to do as far as the attack goes. And Mount Vernon had to make some adjustments. And the shot selection for Mount Vernon because of the panic of being down started to happen with way more threes than what we're used to seeing. And then the Annies were able to take advantage on offensive rebounding as well. And because of that, that has the Lady Rams down 10 here in the start this third quarter. 24-14. Start of the third, second half action here from Mount Vernon Township High School. All of the action is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Serving Jefferson County since 1906. And by, by now, by far, the market leader with locations in Mount Vernon Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Centralia will inbound. They'll start the basket start the second half with the basketball. Moving left to right. They're into the right court, the front court. Caprice Mains with it, trying to dribble past her defender to the wing. Now throws over to the right arc for Wood. Right back to Mains. Now to Wood over on the right. 747 to go here in the third. 24 to 14. Mains throws it back up top. That was Latavia. Now to Caprice coming around from the wing. Throws up a jumper. It's good. Right. Just outside the paint. 26 confidence, 14. Confidence exuding here from Centralia in this part of the game. 729 to go in the third. Savannah Childers with the basketball between the circles. Right hand dribble now to the left wing. Good little head fake. Now a drive to the basket. Shots blocked. That was Lauren Heinzman. She'll go to the line to shoot two. She has a team high six. And that's where Mount Vernon's going to have to get this done. They find themselves down 12 here as we start this third quarter now into it. And the thing is, you got to go to the rim. you got to go to the hole. You cannot rely on that outside three-pointer all the time. Get to the line with a clock stop like Lauren Heinzman and maybe get some points back. Makes the first 26-15. Makes them both. Back to a 10-point game, 26-16. 721 to go in the third. Nasa with the front court. Having trouble with her own defender, and we're going to have a timeout. Roger Stieg to save the possession. Yeah. That just did not develop for the Annie. Well, it didn't. They threw it into the corner where the baseline and the sideline connect, and Nasa caught it with a friend of hers right by her and two Lady Rams. There was way too much humanity in that 6x6 six six square down there, and Roger Stieg quick with the timeout to save that possession as Nasa was frustrated as the Lady Rams throw a little pressure full court variety, and Centralia was not ready for that, but Jeff Lonnen may be trying to speed things up for the Annies and what they had in that first half. Make sure you're protected from identity theft. With a premier checking account from First Mid-Illinois Bank and Trust, you can sign up for identity theft and fraud protection at no additional cost. Stop by First Mid at the corner of 34th and Broadway for details. 7.18 to go in the third quarter here from the new MVTHS. 26-16, the deficit. Annies will inbound. Deep in the backcourt. Near the baseline now is Nossett. Pressuring is Meyer. She's able to find Wood. Back to Nossett. Still in the backcourt. Now finds Caprice Mates. Almost has it stolen away. She's pressured. Jump ball. Favors Mount Vernon. Turnover Centralia. Well, Annie's don't like to play fast. And maybe Jeff Lonnon's found something. 
Childers will inbound in front of the scorer's table. Throws one in to Meyer, dribbling toward the right wing, back to Childers between the rings. 7.05 to go in the third. Looking left wing, dribbling her way in as Hines, but can't get the shot that time. Falls into the hands of Ryan. Her shot's no good. Rebound tipped back out up top. Childers slobs over to the right side line for Meyer. Now to Ryan, trying to feed inside. That's off the foot of the Annies as Keel was trying to go to the basket. Put the dribble to the ground. It's off the foot of Maines, out of bounds. Halftime boys score, Oakville 42 at home. Leads Cesar Valera 20, 42-20, Rockets over Red Devils. Whoa. Rockets coming off that Kaskaskian Classic title Saturday, keeping the momentum. Three from Meyer on the way is no good. Rebound will go to Ryan. That scoreboard update went to Tony Wilch, your State Farm agent at Mount Vernon. Three on the way, Hines, but left wing variety is good. That's huge. It's down to seven. It's 26-19. Pressure has sped Centralia up. This is where Nasa will have to help out as will... Mains coming up the floor and got lucky. Did. Kick save there. Oh, they shut down the passing lane. And now Satray will inbound into the front court on the sideline. There the scorer's table. 6.24 to go in the third. It's into Caprice Mains right of the circle. Lady Rams are down 7, 26 19. Looking to come up with some stops. Pressuring the Annies here in the second half. Caprice lobs down low, and this one will be a foul on Hines with missed time for yeah. a strip, and that'll be. Should be Guards on the floor. should not be jumping in the air to block shots, especially on post players. So now left of the bucket, the inbound off of the baseline for Raven Wood. Now to Nas, and she'll try mid-range. It's good. Ooh. Why not? I'd take her on my team. I would she too. Just get her off of that one. Silky smooth and solid. Has a good shot working tonight. 28-19. The Annies are back up nine. Looking to the right elbow now. Meyer, some trouble with it. Able to recover. Gets it to Hinesman. Dribbling around off a curl. Nothing there. Good defense by Ravenwood. Yeah, great move. Feet moving by Ravenwood. All feet kept moving. And now to the basket. Hinesman's shots can be blocked. Look clean. But Lauren will go to the line to shoot two. That's big. That's three on Latavia Mains. Is that who, if that's who it is on. And that is who it is on. And now... Roger Stieg with decisions as Heinzman goes back to the free throw line. The defense was there. Maines just needed to come over and stick her hands up and not reach down for that block shot. Free but it's ever so tempting. Free throw good for Lawrence. She'll have another. Looking to get to double digits. 5.45 to go in the third quarter. 28-20 the score. Lady Rams down by eight. It's going to stay that way. Missed the second free throw. Rebound to Nikita Maines. Caprice Maines now will dribble it across. We're going to have a foul. On Centralia. Oh, I didn't see Legal it. screen. Lauren, Lauren Heinzman got knocked to the ground. Nobody talked about it. And the screen was a little vicious and movable. So now the inbound comes from the far sideline. Lady Rams are down 8. 28 20. 541 to go in the third. The action powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Crossover dribble. Lauren bounce pass in the corner. Big three if it goes by Ms. Meyer is good. It's 28-23. Well, it's back down to five. The pressure really didn't help out, and Roger Stieg wants another timeout. 28-23, Annie's Lady Rams taking a little bit of control here early in the third quarter, but still a lot of work to do. 5.24 left to go. This timeout sponsored by First Mid-Illinois Bank and Trust, your one-stop financial resource. In addition to banking services, First Mid also offers wealth management and insurance. 28-23. Lady Rams are down five, but have really cut into the deficit. They were down ten at half. So Beltville East wins a holiday at the Thanksgiving tournament in Centralia. They are in Edwardsville tonight at the end of three quarters down 40. 66-26 to Edwardsville. Might make Salem a little not so interesting. Yeah. Come midwinter. Yeah, that could be Edwardsville and everybody else as Marinko has 18 points for the Tigers tonight against the Lancers. So here, when Jeff Lana went with the first make and pressured full court, trapping off the inbounds pass, Centrea got a little wide-eyed and started throwing a ball everywhere, kind of like they had the pin pulled on a hand grenade. They didn't know where they were going to put it. They wanted to go somewhere fast, but didn't know where they were going. And boy, Mount Vernon takes a 12-point deficit down to five. The only thing is when you're down by that many, you exude a lot of energy to get back. Now there's still 524 left in the third, so a lot of time left in this ball game, and Mount Vernon will continue the pressure. 524 to go in the third, 28-23 ball game. Lady Rams are down five. Centralia the length of the floor inbound left to right. We're here on the west side of the high school. 
as now this will be tipped away and recovered by the Lady Rams on the turnover. Then they almost give up the basketball. They'll slow it down here a little bit. Childers with it. Thought about the three. Now to the left wing for Kendall Ryan. She dribbles into traffic. Oh. Forces the pass to the feet of Keel. And now Meyer. Hot hand. No. No good that time. Rebound will be tipped away, but recovered by Caprice Mains. And now we will have a blocking foul yeah. on uh, Bria Meyer. It's a good try. Good effort. Just not in time. So now the Annies will inbound. Ooh, head online and check out the Buffalo Wild Wings party menu. It's got all the wings and shareables you need for a party. Just visit buffalowildwings.com and call today to place your order. Buffalo Wild Wings, Ooh. Wings Beer Sports here oh. in Mount Vernon. Oh. Annie's may have there just turned go. it over. Nope, yep. saved by Meyer. And now to the basket will go Ryan. Can't get the shot. Lady Rams needed that one. Foul in the backcourt. A little too aggressive that time by the Lady Rams. And just when they look like they're getting themselves out of a situation, out of danger, they shoot themselves in the foot. Yep, going up the down escalator again. Madeline Keel. Ooh, she did not get the foul. I thought it was on Madeline. It is on Childers. That's her first. Team's third. More pressure. Trapping on the inbounds. But now Noss is able to save it to Caprice Maines. Dribbles past a defender in a three-on-one. Ryan quick to catch up, and now the pressure felt by Maines. She'll have to force up a jumper. No good. This time Latavia back up and one. Yep, the Annies are getting what they want to do because the white shirts aren't boxing out. And because the white shirts aren't boxing out, Madeline Keel got her fourth, third foul, fourth on the team. You have to put a white shirt in front. You're not going to be able to out jump the Annies. They're too tall. And going up the down escalator as the Lady Rams now back down eight. Three-point play. Mains has 14 unofficially. It's 31-23. 4.30 to play in the third. We will look for... The best doggone shot of the game, sponsored by Jaggers Doggy Daycare. Looking for a candidate. We've had a couple of threes Heisman tonight. Heisman shot down underneath on the circus shot. Jerry we or, uh, Rick Berry style at the hip was pretty good. Yes, it was. That might win it. We'll see. Meyer three. Could be a contender. No, no good. Rebound tipped away. Keel in the post. Off glass. No. Unlucky bounce for the Lady Rams, but a lucky bounce here. This will be a jump ball force, but it will go to Centralia. Yeah. Lady Rams just cannot rebound over these taller Centralia Timbers. You get it. She goes from 10 to 12 to 5 to 8. Bouncing around like the ping pong balls in the lottery. So Centralia will have a length of the floor inbound. Raven Wood will get it into Nassit. They'll pressure her, and now the focus will switch over to Wood, who actually stepped on the baseline. Nobody saw. Now Maines across the timeline. Caprice Maines dribbles out of bounds. Oh Last touch by Mount Vernon. Luckily, Heinzman wasn't called for a third there that time. A lot of reach. Midway through the third here, 31-23. 3.58 left to go in the quarter. Ravenwood will inbound in front of her own bench. Able to get it into Caprice Mains. Now back to the right wing, Wood up to the top, Mains. 3.54 to play in the third, dribbling to the top of the key. Back to the right wing for Wood. Now to Caprice Mains again. Trying to dribble around, will get a screen from another Mains. Runner won't go. Rebound put back, no good. Mains is controlling the floor right now. Yeah. Now Nossett wide open for a long two. It's wow. good. I'll draft her right now. She's in the running for three stars of the game. 31-23. Man, she plays very silky smooth. Scoreboard slow. They're up 10. 33-23 with 3.23 to go here in the third. Heinzman coming around off the left. Lady Rams almost turned it over. Quick off the glass, no good. And now the Lady Rams who played so nearly flawlessly to start the half. Falling into some old habits. 3-10 to go. Third quarter, 33-23 ball game. Little bounce pass to the back door for Maines. Feeds inside. Caprice Maines, no good. Out of bounds off of Mount Vernon. They can't rebound. Nope. Struggling. Struggling to handle the size and the height. Red Lake College powers are streaming. See how you can save thousands of dollars on your college education at rlc.edu. Quick inbounds. It passed to Caprice Maines. She'll dribble in. Runs off the glass. It's good. Caprice with seven. 35-23, and there goes back to 12. 12 at the bright beginning to start the third. Now it's back to 12 after being to five. Right wing, Savannah Childers with the basketball into the right corner. Now right elbow from Abby Hinkin to Keel, back to Hinkin. 2.40 to play, third quarter, 35-23. Hinkin with it, now swings it around to the top for Meyer. Lady Rams just no real options to penetrate. Left wing, Childers back to the right wing for Meyer. 2.28 to go in the third quarter. Back up top, little bounce pass. Keel to the outside for Hinken. Into the corner for Meyer. Back to Abby. Free throw line extended. Now throwing around to Childers up top. 2.19 to go in this third quarter. 
Lady Rams are down a dozen, and right now Meyer dribbling to the top. Lady Rams just need a bucket, but Wood will steal it away and extend it to the largest lead of the night for Centralia on yep. the layup. Yep, you can see the Annies are starting to play down the hill. Mount Vernon's starting to go up the hill. And down by 14, biggest deficit of the evening for the Lady Rams. 37-23, Childers up top. Ooh. Going to dribble, shut off, and now to the right wing, three. Good, there's a big one from Bria Meyer, but it needed... Quite a few more of those. Yeah, that's good. Catch and shoot. Bria could make herself a sniper by the end of the year. Could be. Doing very well. Amongst the best doggone shots of the game, sponsored by Jaggers here. This will be I, Griggs into the ball game, who gets the post-up I jumper. think what you're seeing now by Mount Vernon on WMIXports.com is there a lot of Olay defense going on right now. They're dropping the red cape, and what's happening is the Annies are driving right by it. Maybe a little fatigue here in this one. Minute 20 to play here in the third. Off of the left wing. Left, yeah, left wing that was. Ooh, Heinzman who threw it to Meyer. She dribbles to the basket, gets the and one. Bria to the line to make it a three-point well, play, cut it to ten. Lefty Heinzman drives down the left side of the, of the lane and hits a bounce pass with her left hand, wraps it around, and then we get, as Mount Vernon gets it, Bria Meyer gets the foul on the main shot. And that's the third foul on Nikita Maines. If you're the Lady Rams, you got to get it in single digits heading into the fourth. Now it's 10, as that was the end one for Meyer. Meyer's having a big wow. quarter. She's in the running. As now the Annie's almost turned it over on the pressure, but it was touched out of bounds by the Lady Rams. A minute 14 to go in the third quarter, 39-29 Centralia. Lady Rams will pressure. Centralia a good find right side of the floor, but they go back into the trap. Almost picked away. Caprice Maines dribbling through traffic, doing a great job, and she'll be fouled on the hand check, maybe Kendall Ryan. She reaches... She teaches. That's what happens there. Defense reaches. The offensive guy teaches. Inbound will come right to the bucket here for the Annies off of the baseline. Up 10. Caprice Maines with the basketball. Right-hand dribble switching left. Has her pocket picked. And that'll be a jump ball. Favors at Mount Vernon. Just turnover Centralia. Jaggers Doggy Daycare understands dogs and emphasizes positive reinforcement in their training. Jaggers has obedience training that fits your schedule and your budget. Log on to JaggersDoggyDaycare.com to find out more. Our call 316-7021. 39-29, Lady Rams down 10. Heinzman fighting, gives up. Bria Meyer, hot hand, three, good, down wow. to seven. Might take a sniper tonight to get it back into it. Three-pointers. Might be one of the best doggone shots of the game. 39 seconds left, Nossett fighting against traffic. Throws it over, now to Maines, right timeline with 34 seconds to go. 39-32, Lady Rams down a touchdown. Wood looking inside to Maines. Nikita Maines this time high off the glass, but gets it. 23 seconds left. Lady Rams are down 9, 41-32. It's at single digits with 19 seconds left to go in the third, and this one's turned over. Got to be kidding me. Careless pass that time by Mount Vernon. Now Centralia into the front court. 10 seconds left. Nossett over to the left wing. Here comes Caprice Maines. Throws underneath. Post up coming. Nope. Not there with three seconds. Centralia short corner. Stolen away by Heinzman from three-quarter court at the buzzer. No good. 41-32 Centralia after three. We come back with a fourth. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Steve Downs, Vice President of Agricultural Lending with Community First Bank. Operating your farm operation is extremely challenging in today's farm economy. Your operation needs a solid partner that understands the issues you face while providing solutions that make sense for you. At Community First Bank, we're dedicated to meeting the needs of local farmers just like you. Give me a call today at 618-244-3000 to see how we can help with your farming operation. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Buffalo Wild Wings is proud to announce our new half-price wing Tuesdays. Now, instead of getting a discount on individual wings, you get any size of traditional wings at half the price. Order a small, it's half the price. Two larges, half the price. Try all 21 sauces and seasonings for half of what it would cost you any other day of the week. We could call it twice as good wing Tuesdays, but we don't. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Balance for a limited time. Prices and participation vary. Restrictions apply. See participating locations for details. Void or prohibited. Back to Lady Rams basketball. Powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. WMIX, WMIXSports.com. With Danny Sarwinski, I am Chris Hugo. We start the fourth quarter here in the King City. Lady Rams trailing 41-32 to the Centralia Annies. 
Left wing, it's Wood with it for the Annies. They start with the basketball. Now a feed to Nikita Mains inside the free throw line. No good. Rebound is there for Centralia. The shot that time, not by Wood. Rebound to the Lady Rams. 7.45 to play, 41-32. And now it's Heinzman with it left wing. Heinzman, good fake, throws to Ryan. High pass to Childers, good back pedal. Childers on the right wing, looking for help. Out of a trap, throws it over to Ryan out of bounds. It was not touched by Centralia, but they'll get the call. I didn't see a fingertip there. No, I didn't either. A little home cooking going on. As now inbound comes from Ryan to the timeline for Childers. 7.27 to go in the fourth. Lady Rams are down 9, 41-32. I believe the closest they've gotten it is 5. Now, good ball movement, Lady Rams. Turn around off the glass is good by Maddie Keel. They need that. They need her. They're down 7, 41-34. Her fourth points of the game comes at a very opportune time. As now, Lady Rams pressure Centralia, and they almost turn it over. Last touch by Mount Vernon out of bounds. 7.05 to go in the fourth. The action powered by Community First Bank. Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Welcome back to personal banking. Quick inbound, Maines will tip it out to Maines. That was Nikita to Caprice. Her shot's going to be blocked, picks it up off the side of the backboard. Lady Rams forced to jump ball, turnover Centralia. So Lady Rams will have possession. 6.59 to play here in the fourth quarter, 41-34 ball game. Right hand dribble by Lauren Heinzman. One-on-one -on -one against the defender, gets the screen by Keel, throws back to Maddie, zips a pass to Kendall Ryan, she'll dribble in. Now to the elbow to Madeline Keel. Finds Meyer, she'll dribble up top, back over to Keel, right wing, 6.38 to play in the fourth, now to Ryan. She'll launch a three, would be huge, it's no good. Lady Rams just couldn't get set there, 6.30 to play, defensive rebound of course, Centralia. now Caprice Mains into the front court. Pass the defender as she stumbles, leans in, gets it to Maines, who throws up a jumper. She's going to line to shoot two. That'll be, I think, a foul on Keel. We'll wait for the official verdict. And just a case where the Lady Rams get rolling and then can find ways to shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah, and that's the struggle when you're down by so many so early. You get to that point where you feel like you've got to do everything you can to get into the lead or get back in the game. And because of that pressure, happens and you do things that you're not used to doing. So Maines missed the first and now the second. She overcompensates. Rebound to Mount Vernon. Needs some points here. 41-34 down 7. 6-18 to go in the fourth quarter. With it on the right side is Meyer. She had a, had a huge second half. Bounce pass from Childers back to Ryan. Coming around to the top. Gets a screen now. Ball screen. Three on the way for Heinzman. Shots no good. Rebound will go to Maines. Those are shots you can't necessarily take with Centralia's post presence. However, Lady Rams pressure and force a turnover again. Heinzman dribbles into the front court, up this left side, behind the back, trying to get to the basket. Shot up, good, and one. Ooh, the senior wanting to get something done here. And gets to the line, and Lady Rams could be down four if she can make the free throw. That is on Raven Wood, just her second, as Abby Hankin will check in. 41-36, Lady Rams are down five. Again, this is as close as they've been able to get since they were down three to nothing to start the game. Heinzman's free throw is no good. Rebound to Mains. That was Nikita over to Caprice. Caprice up the left side, pressured of course. Crossover dribble to save it. Now dribbles to the top. Lady Rams are everywhere. 540 to play in the fourth quarter. 41-36 score. Streaming powered by Ren Lake College. Log on, rlc.edu. See how you can save thousands on that college education. Pass over to Wood on the right arc. Now to Nasset up top. Over to Wood, back on the right side. They feed the post. Latavia Maines turn around, not there. Nikita Maines has it stolen away by Abby Hankett. Big steal by the Lady Rams. That's how you do it. 5.15 left in the fourth. Childers in the front court. Steps into a three. Yes! Lady Rams will cut it to two, 41-39. What a comeback. And timeout Robert somebody. Steve, yeah, needs a timeout. And what a comeback. The Innings will be down to one timeout for the rest of the way. If you're planning to buy a new home, talk to Dwayne Gully at First Mid-Illinois Bank and Trust. Dwayne can walk you through the loan process, answer all of your questions, and get you moving quickly. First Mid is an equal housing lender. 5.05 remains in the fourth quarter. Now this is as close as it's been. Since the very beginning, it was 0-0. 41-39, two-point game. 5.05 to play in the fourth, and you start to see the Lady Rams putting it together now. Instead of a shot in the foot, 
They're doing it right, followed by doing something right, and they've certainly gotten some breaks along the way this well, fourth quarter. Centralia hasn't scored in almost three minutes this fourth quarter, and they have not made it a shot in four attempts. So if you're late, the Lady Rams, you got to keep pressuring Centralia. What the Annies need to do is come down and get a good look inside. they got to get a few passes, move that defense around in Mount Vernon, and go to the inside where the bread and butter is made if you are Centralia and has been this entire game. 5.05 to go in the fourth quarter here. 41-39 score. Centralia will have the basketball length of the floor coming out of the timeout. We are in the Buffalo Wild Wings broadcast booth. Buffalo Wild Wings, your home for USC pay-per-views. Don't forget, a spectacular place to watch college football bowl games or any sport, really. Wall-to-wall -wall TVs, wing specials on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and plenty of beers on tap. Buffalo Wild Wings on Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. 41-39, Centralia up just two. They will inbound under pressure. They get it into Caprice Mains, dribbling across the timeline. Going around left side, takes it herself, length of the floor. She is fouled. Just a quick bump. Maddie Keel's done for the night. Well, and that's what you got to do if you're Centralia. You got to go back to what got you into the dance. And you have to go back and you have to get in and get to the line. And that's exactly what happened there as Centralia took it down. Roger Stig draws that, that play, gets the Annies to the lane, into the rim. Probably the big thing for me, though, in that entire possession previously was the Abby Hankins steal because so often they've had to foul in the post and she just got a clean swipe as Caprice Mains misses the free throw here. She'll have another. Best she can do is keep it a possession. Right now it's 41-39. Caprice Mains is at the free throw line shooting the second of two and she'll uh -oh. miss that one. Uh oh, Latavia gets the rebound. Stolen away again, Abby Hankin, but the Annies will recover and a chance to reset. It'll be over to Caprice Mains, left of the circle, dribbling to the wing. 4.51 to go here in the quarter. Now, a little sneak to the back door, not there. Nobody there for the rebound from Mount Vernon again. Now up top, Nossett feeds in the post. There's Hinkin again. Third steal in the fourth quarter, had her pocket picked. And now it'll be stolen away by Meyer. Two-point game, 41-39, 4.34 to go in the fourth. Hinkin has it stolen away by Mains. That was Nikita on the steal. And we've had a possession be got with turnovers. 4.24 to play in the fourth. Caprice Mains with it up top. Now to the right wing for Wood. Hankin with it. Almost got it again. And now a runner by Caprice Mains. In and out. Rebound will go to Lauren Heinzman. Well, they're dodging every bad thing left and right right now. Ryan with it. Left wing over to Savannah Childers. She got that last three by the Lady Rams. The Lady Rams about have it. not led the entire game. Hank could try to drive, gets it back out to Meyer. Now up top to Ryan, left wing over to Heinzman. Heinzman has Hank in right wing, that's where she goes. Now back over to Childers, 3.49 to play in the fourth quarter. Up top, Bria with the basketball. She's knocked down a few shots in the second half. Into the corner for Abby Hankin. Height disadvantage against Nikita Maines. Throws back to the right wing for Ryan. Tony Wilt presents our scoreboard updates. He's online at TonyWilt.com. Get to a better state with State Farm. Force pass into the paint. Ill-advised. Jump ball force. Possession yep. for Alfaver Centralia. No, nope. they say foul. No, nope, it's a foul. Heinzman reached in and another golden opportunity gone. And the Annies will go down the other end, shoot free throws. One on one, fellas. There we go. Yep. 329 to go in the fourth. Centralia is shooting free throws, as aforementioned. 329 to go in regulation. All the action presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking as Kelly is getting ready to check in. If your bank has changed names again, remember it's not you, it's them. Community First Bank, the only change you'll receive is in your pocket. So it'll be Kelly in for Hinkin, and at the free throw line now is Raven Wood. She'll knock it down and have another. It's a three-point game. She can make it two possessions. Lady Rams not without opportunity since right. they cut it to two. And that's the first points for Centray in a quarter. Now the free throw no good. Still one possession. Meyer the rebound. Heinzman across the way to Ryan. So different to come back. Another di difference is to come back and take a lead. Centray in one point in the entire quarter. Right wing, Meyer back to the top for Heinzman. Has Childers left wing. And now stolen away. They were looking for Kelly, and now stolen away Maines. Got away with a walk, or did she? Nope, double, double dribble. dribble. Yep, seven turnover on the Annies. Heck of an effort. I'll tell you what's impressed me is Nikita Maines defensively has shown us some things tonight. Yeah, that's key, too. 
She's been able to get things defensively and really cause fits. Well, Jeff Lawn will try to counter with Chloe Swan off of the bench. Lady Rams in the front court with it. Savannah Childers the basketball. Three minutes to play in the fourth. 42-39. Centralia is up a tray. They've led by as many as 12-14 tonight. Coming around right side and one for Ooh. Lauren Hines. But yet again, she gets to the bucket. It should be 42-41. This should be the tie. that the Annies keep playing her as a right-hander and letting her go to her left like nothing's the usual. And you should know by now, and I know Roger Stieg has taught that, but she's being played like a right-hander. 42, should be 42-41. As now into the front court, Caprice Mains. 42-41, because that should have been a tying free throw, but it was no good. Centralia the basketball, almost stolen away. Caprice Mains saves it. They correct it. It is 42-41, 2.37 left. All alone is Mains to the basket. That was yep. Nikita. I'm sorry, I'm confusing my Mainses. It's 44-41. Mount Vernon probably got a break there because and there's a bad play by Centralia. Ravenwood just picked up her fourth. Centralia that time probably could have got a, two, a, a deuce and abuse on the free throw down here. Didn't get the call because the shot was made. And now Heinzman to the line to shoot the one on one. Jeff Lawn wants a timeout here, sponsored by First Mid Illinois Bank and Trust. This is WMIX FM, Mount Vernon, Marion, all of Southern Illinois, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. Stop by First Mid Illinois Bank and Trust, corner 34th and Broadway. Talk to Dwayne Gully about your next home loan. First Mid is an equal housing lender. 228 left in the fourth quarter here, and the Lady Rams have had chances to tie. They've had chances to really get back into it, but I think now the fact it's a three point game, 44 41. They'll be at the line with a one-and-one one out of the timeout for Lauren Heinzman. I think all things considered, obviously a win is a victory, but a moral victory thus far for Mount Vernon to even be in this one. Now, there's no moral victories against your arch rival. You want to come back and try to win this thing, and if you don't win, it's a bitter taste. And the Annies right now are kind of hanging on. They only have one field goal in the quarter and one free throw for three total points, yet they still lead by three. Lady Rams off this timeout. Heinz them at the line to shoot the one and one. So it's go time or not here for the Lady Rams at this point after being down by so many early. 44-41 Centralia. Lady Rams at the free throw line out of the timeout. One and one opportunity. Lady Rams are down three. Again, that was the fourth on Ravenwood. It'll be Heinzman shooting the one and bonus. Can cut it to one if she can make them both. Missed a tying free throw earlier and makes this one here. So she'll get another. It's 41-42. Second one will be forthcoming. Streaming powered by Rin Lake College. She makes it. 44-43, one point game. 228 left to go in regulation. Deep into the backcourt, Brooke Nossett. She's going to be forced into trouble and somehow dribbles through it. Saves her possession into the front court. Turns it into a three-on-one. The mains off the glass, no good. Spins out, nobody there for the Lady Rams. We'll have a jump ball. That's their own favorite Centralia. How about Nossett? She spun, got through to the trap here, left two more Lady Rams in the dust, made it into a three-on-one, and the layup was missed. Boy, Nossett is good. They get it into Mains. That's going to be a hard foul. That's going to be on Lauren Hines, but more than likely. That's four on her. And to the line, Nikita Mains. Nikita, number 44. 216 left in regulation. 44 43. It's a one point game if you just tuned in. Lady Rams still trailing, but Mains is at the line, and she is due from the stripe. Actually, these Mains, is all three are due from the stripe, as Nisi Rudd will check in. Free throw's good. No better time than now if you're Nikita Mains to knock some down, 45-43. So Mains checks in for Swan. Or Rudd checks in for Swan, sorry. The name will get in your head after a while with three on the floor at all times for the Annies, just about. Free throw that time is no good. Rudd gets the rebound for the Lady Rams. Fresh off of the bench, down two. Could Tyre take the lead on this possession? Zip pass over to the right side. Meyer dribbles off her foot out of bounds. They're going to say it's off of Centralia. Yeah. It was either a foul or it was going to be mount for the basketball, one or, one or the other. 2.09 left, inbound, down two, left of the bucket. It'll be Meyer looking back door to Hines, been looking for the foul, but she ties it up. We are tied somehow at 45 with 2.03 left to go on the fourth, and Centralia faces the pressure, gets through it. 
Wright will tip it away. Latavia Maines will throw it away, but gets it right back, and it's tied up. Travels to the basketball. Turnover, Annie's. Eight turnovers on Centralia in this fourth quarter. And Jeff and they've only attempted eight shots. He's picking chess pieces out of everywhere. Annabelle Harrison, the freshman, get her in to check in. Now she'll take a seat. Minute 48 to play and the fourth. 146 to go. Tied at 45. It's Heinzman into the corner for Childers. Childers left wing. Dribbles. Throws up. Shot blocked. Maybe ill advised there, but Annie's with the rebound into the front court. Caprice Maines tied at 45. Looking away for Latavia Maines. Off the hands of Maines. Out of bounds. Lady Ram basketball. Yeah, they have had their opportunities down low. Have the Annie's. And another one goes by the boards. Ryan within the backcourt, looking for Childers, finds her. Childers gets across the timeline with a minute 29. They leave her wide open for a tray, in and out, no good. Rebound, fought for Latavia Maines. Looks for help, and now this will be a two-on-one. Oh, man. Nope. Nossett will wait for the numbers to clear up. How great of a basketball IQ she has. Nossett with the left-hand dribble and a minute 14 to play. Nope. We'll have a foul on Childers. All the action tonight brought to you by Community First Bank of the Heartland, lest we forget. That's not a bad foul, or not a bad play by Nasa. Get into the body of the defender, draw the foul. She goes to the line, and probably who you want on the line at this point if you're Roger Stig. Just the sack, second on Childers. As Brooke Nasa to the line to try to unlock a 45 45 tie with a minute 12 left. First free throw is good. She has 11, I think, unofficially. Swan getting ready to check in. Free throws are good. It's 47-45. We're going to have a substitution. Yeah, that's who you wanted if you're Roger Stig, the calming influence and force on this Annie's team. Swan will check in for Rudd. Rudd did a tremendous job on the glass in her short time in the game. Lady Rams dangerous with the passing here. It'll be Childers. Lady Rams are down two, 47-45 with a minute six. Down two. They were tied a moment ago, and we have a timeout, Jeff Lonnen, before the travel could be recognized. Mm. Timeouts presented by First Mid Illinois Bank and Trust. Putting you first, you can count on familiar faces providing friendly banking service. Stop by First Mid at the corner of 34th and Broadway to talk with Michelle and the entire First Mid team today. This one's developed into a pretty good ball game down the stretch. Well, what started out as something that was going to be an Annie's blowout, she just didn't feel like Mount Vernon was going to sit back and let them run off on her home floor. And credit the Lady Rams for battling back in this one, but you don't want to battle all the way back and then have a loss pop up. So you got to keep playing hard in this last 62 seconds. Of course, good is relative, I should say, has turned into an entertaining game down the stretch. Two-point game. Lady Rams will have the basketball out of the timeout with a minute two left to go. Possession arrow favors Mount Vernon. Two key elements to, to note here as we go down the stretch. Chris Hugo, Danny Zerwinski alongside, 94.1 FM. Watch online at WMIXSports.com. Same scenario on Thursday night when we have the Marion Lady Wildcats coming to Shag coming to town. 47-45 score. Annie's are up to. Lady Rams will have the basketball. Inbound will be Kendall Ryan. Out of a box set from the sideline, no less. Now working into the corner for Bria Meyer with a minute two left to go. Off of the deep left wing, it's Ryan working to the right side. Lady Rams are down a pair, 47-45. They've been down by as many as 14 tonight. They think without that sluggish first quarter start, this could be easily a Lady Ram win, and that'll be tipped out by Centralia. Good defensive heads up by Ravenwood. Lady Rams are on the near wing. High pass tipped out by Centralia. Now they'll re-inbound. It'll be Ryan into the corner. Dangerous pass trapped is Meyer. She'll throw it out of bounds. Good heads up play. Threw it off of Nasset. A little tentative here on these possessions. One area where the Lady Rams have struggled somewhat is inbounding the basketball late in the game. Saw it Cahokia. Quick inbound for Ryan off of the sideline. She does find Childers. She's deep left wing. Into the game was Annabelle Harrison a moment ago. As it'll be Hines, but trying to get to the basket. Off glass, no good, but she gets her own rebound. She's fouled, no call. Got it off the head of Maine. Throws up a long shot that's no good. And now, Centralia pressured. They'll throw it to Latavia Maine. Stolen away by Kendall Ryan. Big steal, and she's fouled. Fouled by Wood. She's done for the night. And to the line for the one and one. Huge free throws coming up from Kendall Ryan. Well, biggest ones of the year so far, as far as getting to shoot the one and one.
Let's see here. Both coaches only have one timeout. Taylor Hirsch will check in for the departing Raven Wood, who played very well tonight defensively. And out of the line for the one and one goes Kendall Ryan with some huge free throws on her shoulders. First one is no good. Rattled off the back of the iron. 23 seconds left, 47-45. Shoulders will foul Caprice Mains. And the line to shoot two will go Mains to try to stretch this into a well, two-possession lead. The Annies have to make free throws. If they make free throws, they hang on. At the line, Caprice Mains. First one is good. 48-45. If Mains can knock down the second, she'll make it a two-possession game. Yep. Jeff Lonick calls his final timeout. Yeah, he's wanting to freeze her, keeping it this one possession game. Let her make think about that second one she's got to make. Timeouts presented by First Mid Illinois Bank and Trust. Corner 34th and Broadway, Mount Vernon. 48 45, Annie's on top. 21.6 seconds left to go. And at the line, Caprice Maines will be shooting the back end of a one and one set. She had made the first and now will shoot the second out of the timeout, making her think about it, of course. And regardless of outcome, obviously you want the win, you need the win, you, you got to have the win. But a, just a great job of coming back at all for the Lady Rams. They were still down double digits at the half and down nine coming into the fourth. Again, it's, it, they got back into the game, got it down to two, tied it up. But again, the difference is getting back into it and tying up's one thing, getting a lead's another. And as of right now, they have not gotten the lead yet. And of course, if you wait, the comeback here is complete if you can get the win. If not, it's going to be a bitter pill to swallow for how the first two or three, four minutes of the game started out for them. 21.6 seconds left, 48-45. Caprice Maines can make it a two-possession ball game if she can knock down this back end of the one in bonus. Maines is already at the line. Now they wait for the Lady Rams to take the floor. They will for Mount Vernon, Kendall Ryan, Savannah Childers, Bria Meyer, Lauren Heinzman, Annabelle Harrison. Three Mainses, a Nosset, and a Hirsch for the Annies. 21.6 seconds left. It's Caprice Mains at the line, shooting the back end of actually what was two. Makes it. It's two possessions, 49-45. Into the front court, not yet. Lady Rams with the basketball now across the timeline. Heinzman wants a deep three. It's good, and it's a one-point game. So try a pressure. That'll be a foul on Harrison. It'll be her first, and Caprice Mains is going to the line with 11 seconds left to try to stretch it back to three. Fun at the old gymnasium. A bad foul by a freshman who's just into the game and no, only has one, none. Understands the game. 49-48. Annie's by one. Can stretch it to three. 11 seconds to go. Lady Rams do not have a timeout left. Roger Stieg and the Annie's only have one. Maines is at the line. Again, this is a two-shot foul and a double bonus. The first one is good. Ice water in the veins. Calm, cool, collected. You make thus this far. one, you make the Lady Rams go length of the court, no timeout, and try to make a three. And the Annies can't foul unless they want to make them shoot the one and one instead of making the three. She makes them both. 51, 48, 11 seconds left in this one. Inbound will come from Childers. Ryan over to Heinzman. Heinzman across the timeline with nine from the volleyball line. No good. Out of bounds. Yeah. There was more time to work with there, and they rushed a shot. So now you got to go through the process again. If you don't get the steal, foul. Do it again and hope that the Annies miss both free throws. 5.5 seconds to go in the ball game. 51-48 Centralia. They get it into Nossett. They need to foul. The foul will be on Bria Meyer. And Nossett will go to the line to shoot two. And uh, making at least one of them would be certainly problematic with 3.4 seconds left. Mm -hmm. well, there's not enough time. She makes both. She makes one. There's not enough time. 51-48, Nossett will go to the line to shoot two, and what a valiant effort by Mount Vernon tonight in this second half. First one, no good. Uh oh Could be trouble, or it may not be. Still got to make, still got one. The Annies will clear to get the defense set. Conceding a possible rebound, full confidence they have that Nossett will make the shot and ice this one. 
She makes it. It's 52-48. Makes a difference. You got that second one. That's now from near half court. Nope. Lady Rams will knock it the shot off. And this one will end. The Centralia Annies, 52. The Mount Friend Lady Rams, 48. All over here from MBTHS. We'll come back with your Schmitzer Lake Cadillac post game show. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Ever feel like you're paying your bank to be there for you? Hi, I'm Debbie Ashby with Community First Bank, and we believe being chosen as your financial partner is a privilege. That's why we still offer free checking with free debit cards and free online banking and bill pay for your convenience. No hassles, no hoops to jump through, just your local hometown bank being there for you. Stop by one of our five Jefferson County locations today to see the Community First difference and let us welcome you back to personal banking. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dixon, Ina. Member FDIC. With 2016 coming to a close, it is time to take advantage of the year-end savings here at Ford Square, Mount Vernon. Hi, Roy Schmidt inviting you in for great deals on the remaining 2017 Ford Escape and 2016 Ford Focus models. When it comes to a fun and sporty SUV, the 17 Ford Escape is the ticket. Own your new 2017 Ford Escape front-wheel drive today for only $22,745. And when it comes to fun, the 2016 Ford Focus turns heads with its sporty, aggressive style. With built-in Sync 3 technology, you will always stay connected. Not only will you enjoy the feel and the look of the 2016 Focus, you will love the price. Own a 16 Focus SE for only $22,620. Stop into Ford Square today and drive Escape or Focus. Located at 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon or call us at 618-242-8600. Do you have two nights free a week? Take to the skies with Ren Lake College's new drone program. These unmanned aircraft systems are making waves in a number of industries, from agriculture to videography to search and rescue. Just three short classes taken two evenings a week get you an occupational certificate. Grads can test to become a certified drone pilot through the FAA. For more info, call 618-437-5321, extension 1261, or log on to rlc.edu. Ren Lake College, your journey starts here. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Post Game Show starts now. Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac sponsors our post game show. Log on to SchmidtChevrolet.com to schedule your service appointment or view their online inventory. 52 48. Lady Rams stumble here tonight from the New Mountain and Township High School. Valiant effort. A team that was down by 15 at one point, maybe even 16, probably 14. Tied it up at 45 and then succumbed 52 to 48. The Annies improved to 3 and 5. They're 2 and 1 in the South 7. 3 and 4 now are the Lady Rams. Their South 7 record is even at 1 and 1. We have plenty to come. Your three stars of the game, your scoring and stats. Your best doggone shot of the game, sponsored by Jag Jaggers Doggy Daycare, not necessarily in that order. And probably Jeff Lonnan as well here on your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac post game report. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll get you set with some more in info. 52-48, Centralia wins it tonight. Surprising, your Lady Rams. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. It is the time for a new Ford, and Schmidt Ford of Salem is the place for you. I'm Mike McManus, a Schmidt Ford sales associate. Ford is the best-selling brand in America. And with great vehicles, great rebates, and incentives, now is the right time to drive home your new Fusion Edge Explorer for the all-new F-150. And if it's a pre-owned vehicle you're looking for, I have more than 500 available in our inventory. So come see me, Mike McManus, today at Schmidt Ford of Salem, located at 1815 West Main, just off I-50. Train for an exciting career in the biomedical electronics field with a new degree from Ren Lake College. Biomedical electronics technicians repair and maintain medical equipment in hospitals, doctor's offices, and other facilities. Courses and internships will get you experience with multifaceted medical equipment. If you've got the technical ability and want to join the expanding healthcare field, contact RLC today at advising at rlc.edu or log on to rlc.edu. Rend Lake College, your journey starts here. This is Tom Vernon Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. 94.1 FM, WMIXSports.com. Schmidt for Lake Cadillac postgame show continues here as the Lady Rams fall tonight by a score of 52-48 to 48, as we will have scoring and stats and plenty more coming your way here. Three stars of the game as well as your best doggone shot of the game still to come later on. And 
Right now, Lady Rams stumble 52-48, to final score on this one. And great effort by this team in the second half. You can't dismiss that, but it's a case of where you probably shouldn't have ever had to make that effort in the second half to begin with. Nope, you got yourself in a hole, dug your hole, and um, unfortunately lose tonight by four in a game that you probably feel like you should have won along the way. Probably should have, and I, I think the scoring and stats will be improved for Mount Vernon in the second half, but not enough to beat Centralia. Mount Vernon 8 of 17 from two point range, 47%. They were 7 of 24 from the arc for 29%. Mount Vernon goes 15 of 41 from the field for 37%. Centralia 16 of 34 for 47% from two point range, 3 of 7 from the arc for 43%. The Annie's 19 of 41 for 46% from the field. Free throw shooting, not very good either way. Mount Vernon was 8 of 15 for 53%, while the Annies were 11 of 19 for 58%. It was rebounding to the Annies, 38 to 19. And the turnovers, Centralia had 26 to Mount Vernon's 15. The Annies really struggled in the second half to take care of the basketball. The Annies were led in scoring tonight by Brooke Nossin with 13. Actually, Latavia Maines had 14, then Brooke Nossin with 13. Caprice Maines had 11, the Keita Maines 9, Ravenwood 3, and the Asia Griggs had 2. For Mount Vernon, they were led by Lauren Heinzman at 23. Bria Meyer had 15 points, including four threes. Savannah Childers 7, Madeline Keel 2, and Kendall Ryan 1. As the Lady Rams lose tonight at home, 52 to 48. We'll take a break on your Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show. Come back with your three stars of the game and the best doggone shot of the game, sponsored by Jaggers Doggy Daycare. 52-48, your final. Lady Rams stumble tonight. This is Mount for the Basketball from WMIX Sports. Half of all football teams lose every Sunday, which means 50% of fans lose too. But Buffalo Wild Wings offers them a chance at redemption. Just swivel that losing face 12 degrees, and there's more football with a fresh 50% chance of winning. Now it's your turn to laugh at someone else's losing face, unless it's you again. Then just try another 12 degrees. Tons of football on tons of TVs. We do it for you. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Are you tired of your bank charging you monthly fees on your checking account? People's National Bank is proud to be a local, family-owned community bank that still offers free checking. The account only takes $100 to open, and there are no minimum balances to keep. So, if you're tired of your bank charging you unnecessary monthly fees on your checking account, stop by your local People's National Bank today and see what a local, family-owned community bank can do for you. People's National Bank, member FDIC. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. The three stars of the game are next. WMIX FM, WMIX Sports.com, and your Schmidt Chipotle Cadillac post game show. We'll have your three stars of the game and your best doggone shot of the game coming up in just a moment. 52 48 is the final on this one. Jeff Lonnan joins us now on your Schmidt Chipotle Cadillac post game show. And, and, Jeff, I think it's a case where if anybody was watching, listening, or here for that first half, mm, probably not expecting. Uh, the final to be what it was, but your girls showed what heart and ability they have in that second half and end up tying it at 45. Don't have enough in the tank maybe to get over the hump, but all in all, a great second half performance by your team. Yeah, it's just that uh, you can't spot them, you know, 10 unanswered points. You, you know, I think you just can't do it. I uh, can't really explain our slow start, but we had it, and and uh, I was very disappointed that we uh, uh, we were just flat, let's face it. I mean, the first quarter we just I think we were a little shell-shocked once they got out to about eight or ten and then we had to kind of wake up and and uh, get ourselves back in it a little bit in the second quarter we go down there down by ten and then we change the entire plan and we go to you know full court pressure and and um, you know we tried to take the game to them basically in the second half rather than just waiting for them to take it to us like we did in the first half and and it worked um, it gave us a chance but again, we just could not, uh, I don't know, we just could not make enough shots to get us over the hump. We made some big ones, though. We made some big threes. And, and uh, Bria Meyer, I mean, my gosh, you know, she, she and Lauren, I mean, you just got to take your hats off to kids like that, you know, because they kind of shot us back in at Childers hit a big three. Uh, we had one time out late, and I kind of say, I was kind of saving it, and <coughs> I probably should have taken it to set that last 
possession down there with about 50 seconds ago. We came down and we kind of jacked a three. And I don't know if that goes. Ever I guess you know everybody looks good, but I would have liked to have had a little better shot than that. But but that's okay. I mean that ball could have gone in. And but you know I use so many timeouts in this game. I think I use more timeouts in this game than I have in any other any other game we've had just to try to you know reset things and try to change things and try to figure out a way to guard those post players. But their interior game was just uh, it was devastating for us tonight. Well, you know, you, you mentioned players and what they did in, in late, and, you know, some of the substitutions you made just worked out well late in the fourth. I mean, Abby Hankin had a few big steals, and, you know, Nisi Rudd off of the bench, the first thing she does is grabs a hu grabs a huge timeout, and, yeah. you know, Annabelle Harrison, a freshman off the yeah. bench, first thing she does is, you know. She set a big screen, and we kicked it, and we got a three-pointer a three pointer off of her screen. Exactly, and then later on got a big foul, and I say big because – you were able to have her commit her first and say, right. you know, somebody else picking up like a fifth or yep. something of that nature. Exactly. And you had a lot of big play off the bench tonight. We did. And uh, it's just really frustrating that we couldn't complete that comeback. But, you know, uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it, 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 uh, it, when you play these guys from Centralia every year, it doesn't really matter what the records are. You've got to play four complete quarters of basketball. And tonight we played, a, you know, two and a half to, to three. So – uh, and that's how we got beat by four points. We just did not uh, – we were not ready to play uh, in the first quarter. And, and that's my fault, you know. I mean, i got to take blame for that. I'm the guy that's supposed to have the kids ready to play. I'm, I'm supposed to have them excited and fired up. And and uh, apparently they weren't. I thought they were, but they weren't. So i got to take responsibility for that. And, and I will, and I do. Uh, but like I told them in the locker room, y you know, y you win as a team and you lose as a team. And, and – and it really gets put to a test in games like this, the losing part. And and uh, this will bring us closer. I, I'm sure it will. I think uh, the mood in the locker room was somber, but it wasn't finger-pointing type stuff. You know, I think everybody just was just sad we lost and that they knew the opportunities we let get by tonight. So uh, we'll be ready to play Thursday night, maybe learn a little lesson tonight. And uh, – you know, they're kids. That's what they're supposed to do is learn lessons. That's that's the phase of life they're in. So we'll we'll go to Thursday and, and roll it out again and hopefully get us a big win and, and get us to two and one in the conference. Amen to that. Jeff Lana, we will be here Thursday night. We will see you Thursday night. Didn't end up the way you wanted it, but still a heck of an effort by your Lady Rams, especially in that second half. Thank you for joining us. All right, guys. Thanks for coming. That's Jeff Lana, head coach, Lady Rams basketball. And the way it ends, you you – it's a loss, 40, 52 to 48, but, man, the, the comeback and, and the excitement that was generated in that second half and uh, definitely probably going to influence our awards here tonight. We owe you three stars of the game. Well, I'm going with Brooke Nossett from Centralia, really good floor game, leading, had 13 points, second game high honors for the Annies. Really liked what she did, especially down the stretch. And then we're going star number two, Lauren Heinzman, 23 points late trying to will the Lady Rams back to a victory. And then we're going to go with Bria Meyer. I felt like she was the star of the game. She had th had those big that big third quarter, 12 points in the quarter, three three-pointers, and a two and a one for a three-point play. And, I mean, that's one of those things where you got to look at her that spurred the comeback to try to get Mount Vernon back in the game. No doubt about it. Three stars of the game. We owe a shot of the best doggone shot of the game now, sponsored by Jagger's Doggy Daycare. Going right back to Bria Meyer. Those three three-pointers in that third quarter, the first one out of the gate that got the Lady Rams back to within nine, got Mount Vernon rolling and got him down. That's the one I look at in the third quarter. Best doggone shot of the game, sponsored by Jagger's Doggy Daycare. Dogs are natural pack animals, and they want to be around other dogs. Leaving a dog at home alone deprives that dog of the exercise they require and the socialization they need. Jagger's Doggy Daycare offers just that, plus dog boarding, training, and grooming. Log on to jaggersdoggydaycare.com for more information or call 316-7021. Lady Rams fall tonight, 52-48. Any final thoughts? Tough loss. Uh, you get off to such a poor start in that first three or four minutes, and that was the ball game. I mean, I know the Lady Rams came all the way back and tied it there in the fourth quarter, but that beginning start, that brutal tough start, really cost Mount Vernon in this one. It did. We'll be back on the air on Thursday night. The Lady Rams welcome the Marion Lady Wildcats. So until then, for Danny Zerwinski, for Jeff Crow, for Audrey Southard, for all of us at WMIX Sports, we're all over social media. Give us a follow. Final score here tonight, 
Lady Rams fall to Centralia 52-48. I'm Chris Hugo. Good night from the King City.